Good evening. It lasted barely three minutes, but for many of us, it was a thrill to remember a lifetime. Of course, we're talking about this morning's total eclipse of the sun by the moon, the first such solar spectacular over Canada in seven years, and the last in this century. Manitoba was the best place to see it, and the thousands who traveled there were not disappointed. Hundreds of small groups, families, friends, neighbors, all gathered to watch the eclipse today using a variety of viewing devices, special glasses, welders' lenses, cameras, and telescopes. Groups of amateur astronomers, many of them from the United States, were greatly relieved when they awoke this morning to find that the weather forecast had changed. Everyone had over an hour to watch the moon slowly move between the sun and the earth. Many schools, heeding the warnings of eye doctors, kept students in their classrooms to watch the show on television. As the moon blocked more of the sun, people began to look forward to totality when the moon completely blocks the sun. Winnipeg became quite dark even before totality. The streetlights came on and motorists turned on their headlights. Despite the warnings of experts, people who had no eye protection couldn't resist taking a peek now and then. And then totality, the people could look safely without eye protection. Oh, isn't that a magnificent right. corona? And the corona is, I think, as I said before, very globular in appearance, but streamers coming out in all directions. Magnificent. Oh, super! <laughs> Look at the hat. God! Completely dark. <laughs> what do you think of that, ma'am? It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Really beautiful. Exciting. And after totality, the diamond ring effect. Though many people stayed indoors because of the warnings of eye doctors, those who went outside seemed to agree it was the show of a lifetime. 